Hey, this is Chad from Bacon Firearms Reviews. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but uh, it'll have been a little busy with uh, stuff going on in my life. But uh, yeah, we got a, I brought a brand new revolver actually recently, and uh, I've been playing around with it. It's actually a black powder pistol because I've been experimenting with that black powder pistols and stuff because I've been getting into it because I like the old fashioned style kind of shooting, you know. So uh, what I actually picked up was a Navy Colt 1851 black powder percussion cap pistol. It's the uh, just great pistol. I mean, it's you know you have to load each cylinder. It's black powder percussion caps right on the nipple in the back, and I was pretty impressed with this pistol for something that was made during the Civil War. You know, that's a muzzle loader. This is pretty dang accurate, I think. I mean, you got rifling in the barrel, so before this you got single shot um, pistols that were either flintlock, well before percussion cap there was flintlock, but uh, they did make percussion cap single barrel uh, percussion cap pistols, but you only could use one shot at a time. With this, is actually nice because you got six shots before you actually had to reload each cylinder again. Back in the day, this was like the the salt rifle of the day, I guess, or salt pistol of the day, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how this thing is actually loaded. It's kind of interesting. It takes a little while, but you know, shooting this thing is pretty, uh, pretty fun to do. So, hope you guys enjoy it. The lead balls are gonna be shooting out of this pistol is the uh, Hornady uh, 44 caliber balls. Uh, they're not bad. They're, you know, just regular old ball, you know, ball of ammunition for, uh, for a black powder. But you can get conicals, which are, look like actual bullets, but they have little grooves in the back. You can get those. I guess they're a little bit more accurate and they actually have more feet per second than the uh, lead balls. I got this pistol at Sportsman's Warehouse for $269.99. That came with uh, the hopper and speed um, speed loading gunpowder hopper, which comes with the uh, the nozzle, and it's just for um, just for speed loading it to get kind of the amount of gunpowder you need for the cylinder. But you hold your hand there, and you got a lever that opens it up, so you would turn it upside down, shake it a little bit, let go. Then take your finger off, and it should be roughly about 25 grams of gunpowder in there. But they also come with a uh, measuring tool, too, to get exact on your loads. So you got these little increments right there. If you could see that. So you got this, loosens it up. You can go all the way up to. 50 grains, but does not go 50. You don't want to put 50 grains of gunpowder in the cylinder of the pistol, it just won't work because you don't want to blow your hand off. This is just meant for if you're using a um, muzzle loading rifle. But uh, what I like to set it at, at usually if you want a nice hot loads about 35, but we're going to put it at 30 for now. So you can use this with your measuring tool here. So just dump the gunpowder in there. Give it a nice little, smack it around a little bit. And when you look in there, if when you smack it a little bit like this, give it a little tap, then you notice some gunpowder actually starts compressing. So you add just a little bit more. That. And every once in a while, I'll give it a nice little little tap, and that should be about enough right there. You got to make sure it's nice and 
It doesn't have to be perfect, but just nice and uh, level right on the top of the opening when you pour it in. So what you do now is you put your pistol on half cock. That way you can spin your cylinder freely. So you'll go to this cylinder right there. You'll take your gunpowder and pour it into the cylinder. Until it's all in. After you load the ball in, you're supposed to put this grease over the top of the cylinder. To, it prevents, I guess, chamber fire, which when you fire, you can actually have the next chamber backs and go off and explode and bad things happen, but that's really rare. That's why you put this lube in there that actually prevents it and makes it 100% safe. You can use this, or right before you put in the ball, it's the same stuff, this like cloth with a lube on it. You put it in the cylinder, uh, into the cylinder before you put it in the ball, which I'm going to show you in a second. But uh, these are actually meant for uh, muzzle loading rifles, but it will work for this. We just have to fold it up. They do make ones that are actually small enough to fit in the cylinder. They're just little pads, which I actually ordered some on Amazon. You can find a lot of reloading stuff for black powder rifles and pistols on Amazon which is pretty much affordable so what you do now is we're gonna fold up this multiple times and where we poured the gunpowder in we're gonna shove this in just like that then we're gonna take our 44 caliber ball we're gonna place it right there over the opening and swing it on over like this and you have a loading arm, so it already has a ramrod built into it. So there's a tab here you pull down, this goes down, pull this over, and shove it in. And you make these, you'll see these little rings when you put the ball in, that's to actually help it uh, seat in and seal uh, pretty tightly. After you do that, I mean, you just gotta do that five more times uh, and load all the cylinders, then. Uh, then put the cap on the nipple, which I'm going to show you in a second. Now once you get all the cylinders loaded, you have to put the percussion caps on. And as you can see right here, they got a little indentation here, so you can slip on the percussion caps. So you see that nipple right there? You're supposed to slide this on like so, but what I like to do, I found out from a good friend, is actually take the percussion caps and just bend them a little bit little bit just so they're just a little bit off centered so that way they grip onto the nipple without falling off when you're firing so you would just slip it in like so put all the nipples on it's gonna look like this if you notice on the cylinder too there's little indentations in between the cylinders so the hammer will actually rest on the cylinder rather than the percussion cap and that's kind of a cool feature on this I guess the original ones never had that feature but they were trying to produce uh, variations of these for the Civil War Sometimes you get misfires. That's to be expected. And sometimes you have the old percussion caps to get in the way. So you just gotta fling them out of there. There we go. Click like and subscribe to my channel. And like always, have a bacon of a day.